ex-performer, Mr. Vincent King. Thank you very much, guys. I just don't know what you're thinking, though. Since when did Andy Dick start doing magic? <laughs> we'll go with that feeling. First off, I want to introduce you to an old friend of mine. He's actually an old vaudevillian. He performed with Thurston, he performed with Keller, he even slumped around in the back pocket of Harry Houdini very briefly. I want to introduce you to a good friend of mine, and hopefully a good friend of yours, Jerry the Handkerchief. Jerry! Yeah. <laughs> Jerry, how you been, man? Oh, good, that's good. I'm good, too. Uh, what have you been up to? Real estate, really? No, I do not want a timeshare. <laughs> uh, Jerry was famous for doing one trick better than it. Two tricks better than anyone else. Like three. Okay, some were better than others. Okay. But, uh, well, I'll show you. Uh, Jerry, of course, was renowned for his uh, hypnosis act. Observe. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, act like a handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> Utterly convincing. The other one he learned from Houdini himself. Houdini, famous being locked in prisons, chains, barrels, and just about anything he could lock something up in. Jerry here got locked up merely in himself. A feat only a handkerchief can perform, but being a handkerchief, he could always write himself out just like that. But my favorite thing Jerry used to do was his card magic, which some of you may think is impossible with that imposable thumb, but Jerry made it work. So tell you what, let's pick on Caitlin. Go ahead, reach right inside there, put any card you like. That one there, that works. And tell you what, just to make it interesting, we're going to have you go ahead and sign that. Or the back. On the front. Okay. This one? Mm hmm Jerry, no faking. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to let you place it back anywhere you like. Ladies and gentlemen, please remember Caitlin's card. Caitlin, please remember your name. We have enough to worry about as it is. I'm talking to a handkerchief. <laughs> 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 All right, ladies and germs. Now the plot thickens. Jerry shall now blindfold himself in himself. A feat, again, only a handkerchief <laughs> can perform. <laughs> as he goes to find Caitlin's. You're going to make me pick this up, aren't you? Handkerchiefs. <laughs> All right. Here goes. Hopefully none of those were yours. I didn't notice Caitlin sprawled on any of them, so let's hope. All right. I'll tie him up. And Jerry, are you ready? Jerry's now using every fiber of his being to find one and only one card. <laughs> Which is really interesting because Jerry's being actually is fibers. <laughs> <laughs> He's finding that one card and passing it through himself. We must suffer for our art. Here it comes. I'm not sure, but Caitlin, is that your six of spades? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry the handkerchief. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, uh, I need uh, a volunteer who's not 100% cotton, so I'm going to pick on Shay if I can. Shay, I need to be courageous. You're a big, strong guy. I want you to inspect this Chinese shoelace of mystery from end to end, from inside to out. Just go nuts. He really is going nuts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Uh, the green shoelace. <laughs> spoken like a true <laughs> angel. In fact, I'm going to steal your halo for this. Go ahead and check that out. <laughs> is it solid, sir? Yes. Good. Don't break it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Watch carefully, because this works the first time, every time on the first try. Just like that. Yeah. Impossible penetration. Shoelace on the ring. <laughs> that goes by a little quick, so I invite you to watch either the ring or the shoelace, or in Shay's case, hold on to the shoelace nice and tight, so that way you can watch the ring as it does this, just like that. <laughs> mm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Ah, now tell you what, I, I have to confess, this isn't really a Chinese shoelace of mystery. Yeah. I just made that up. <laughs> it's actually a Chinese snake. The world's flattest snake. It's got a head, it's got a tail. In fact, if you grab onto that end there, and I'm guessing that's the tail, and we're actually going to wrap that up once there, you actually see the point where it penetrates the ring. Okay, so hold on tight. I'm going to pull on through the ring. One, two, three. Right there into the center. Another impossible link. But wait, there's more. If I tie the snake once and twice, we'll see something even cooler still. Because if I grab the ring right there, hold on tight, Shay. We can still remove it. But not be out there on the Chinese snake, we'll do that again. Just make a little loop to make them smile, just like that. We get the convenient Chinese shoelace carrying bag. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jake. You have a seat there. Now, folks, so far we've seen a lot of magic. And, uh, <coughs> judging by your applause, so far so good. <laughs> uh, but I also want to share with you one of my favorite hobbies drinking. Well, drinking and shooting pool. You see, these things go together, believe it or not. Because somewhere between the two to four beer range, I am phenomenal at pool. 
Beyond four drinks, I think I'm still pretty good, but I'm the only one who thinks so. <laughs> okay? It's actually pretty interesting. I, at the pool hall where I like to go, all the felt is brand new every year, replaced every single year. But the pool hall owner, because of this, doesn't let you drink and shoot pool at the same time. Now you can shoot pool, but the thing is, if you try to drink and shoot at the same time, he takes offense to it. <laughs> so I called him over one day, I said, Joel, I'm here all the time, I'm one of your favorites. Is there any way you could just let me drink and shoot? He says, I can't just let you do it, but we can play shot for shot. If you can impress me with a shot, I'll let you do it. So I thought, aha, that was my cue. <laughs> How about this? If I could shoot a ball so fast into a pocket that you could barely see it, would that be impressive to you, Joel? He said, well, balls travel pretty fast to begin with. What else you got? I said, oh, I got it. What if I could shoot a ball into a pocket and have it kick right back out again? He says, well, I've seen that too. I said, well, what if I shot into one pocket and I come out another one? <laughs> he says, you're getting better, but I need something even cooler still. So I said, well, Joel, put out your hand. If you could play Joel for me, the lovely Caitlin playing Joel, and just put one finger on top just like that, okay? said carefully, I took my wand, also a convenient pool cue, ran it over, made the ball invisible, and shot it so quickly into the cup that she's making a face. <laughs> Go ahead and lift it up. Yeah. He had it. Yeah, that's good <laughs> oh, see, he caught me, though. He said, I'm a magician. He said, Vince, I know you're using an extra ball. I said, I can't use that ball. I need a regulation ball. <laughs> that's when you play pool. <laughs> Thanks for being our audience and uh, Semper Fi. <laughs>